Earlier today, the Maine Town Council of New Amsterdam held a press conference to update the public on subventions for 2020 and 2021. Jalissa Hines reports. The mayor of New Amsterdam, Ms. Winifred Haywood, held a press conference earlier today at the council's chambers to inform the residents about the 2020 and 2021 subventions. Subvention 2021. What actually happens where subvention is concerned is that we would apply for a subvention in a timely manner and when we apply for this subvention, it doesn't matter which government is in power, they would always give you half of it. When they give you the half of the subvention, you will have to spend that and submit your expenditure to the higher authority. The mayor went on to explain what happened last year as it relates to the collection of subventions. Last year, we had submitted for the 18 million, but after the government came in as of the 2nd of August, but they would have said that they were giving us 47 million. However, we only received 10 million, and the things that were in the, but in the in it that we were supposed to do, I guess you would have seen outside here, the building out there, how it is falling down. And then recently we had our floods and we had asked for a drainage pump. But our minister, he took out the drainage pump and also for us to address the wall, but instead we, um, he actually did this chimney here. This was one project and the next project was Kadar Road where we addressed that was it. And so last year we received 10 million. We spent what we had to spend and we submit our expenditure. She then explained why no subvention was collected for this year. We would have submitted the same amount for our municipality. But after we would have submitted that, the Minister of Local Government would have written a letter to me and he was asking if we can take out some of the streets that we would have placed to be done during this year and insert 50 lights. So I had to respond to the Minister, but I did not respond on my own. I had to be at the council at the statutory meeting and we all look at the letter and we agree what we were going to do. So we said that well, we have to inform the minister that well, we have gone, we have gone to the people in the town and we informed them that we were going to do X, Y and Z street. She further knows it. We I did um, spoke to the deputy mayor this morning and we are going to go constituency by constituency. It's going to take a time before this can be done and the, the subvention as it is can be resubmitted again. So we are going to go constituency by constituency, talk to the people. But at the end of the day, the people we are here to serve the people. It was said to us that we need to inform, inform the media of what is happening. But maybe I feel that, well, the spirit was working and I did say to the meeting that we would have this briefing on Wednesday at 11 o'clock, not knowing that our minister would have come into the region to submit to the NDCs and the two municipalities. The mayor also disclosed the decision taken by the council on the matter. We can't just go back on our own and just take out some of the streets and put light on it because we don't know which one we would be able to take out. So I personally, I said to him that we, we have to um, go back to our people so they can understand. However, that was not done, and because that was not done, 
we were not able to have the subvention. Mayor Haywood then mentioned the council's stance on the situation. The vision of the council is that they are not going to do that because we told our residents one thing and we cannot go and do something else. That was a decision. I know that I am mayor, but whatever decision is taken, as mayor, I need to go with it because we were asked to show by raising hands. And you know, it goes from there. So that is my position. We were very happy when we learned about the 47 million because there would have been work in there that we ought to do for the residents of the town. We were not able to have it done, and so you know we were very disappointed about it. We meant to feel that we don't want to work with them. We want to work together with them. But we would be mindful if we can be told, can be called, there is a meeting in our town, we don't even know what is going on. I don't think that is right for us. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.